Hello, it's me, Jack. Hello, PM. Welcome along. We are back playing some more The Leviathan's Fantasy. Look at this. I managed to find my A team. Look, there they all are. Mechanical Dinosaur C. We don't need any more of those because that's that greened out one there. However, we do want them attacking these things, which are flying. Are they, is that? I guess it's mechanical whale A's, right? Uh, they are not getting much done, so I'm just going to cancel out of that. Is any more of this, uh, is that in Mechanical A? Mechanical A? Okay, that one's not doing too bad, but just gonna very quickly set up Mechanical A. Look, he even gets a little um, outline to his avatar. I showed that off last episode that he'd been promoted. Sun Wukong. It was always going to be Sun Wukong, wasn't it? He was, he was like the kind of standout. You should always try and get yourself um, Sun Wukong when you start a new game. Okay, so this is Was that that guy? No. Yeah, okay, it was Sebastian. Okay, because he's only just been reincarnated, we'll grab Paul in instead. Is this a Ugh. I mean, everybody's kind of strong enough to kill these things, but slowly. Uh, but yeah, like I say, I mean, we are still reincarnating, though. We're getting some pretty fast reincarnations. So yeah, Zeus, Fufeng, Carl, and then Mowu. Mowu? Uh, and that, that was um, something to do with the promotion. Every quarter we get a chest. Um, so we've got all five of these chests. They don't, they're not. I mean, uh, although bronze sacred trees, nice. We can't, we can't craft those. 13. It's not 30, but the reason why, I mean, I don't think we can get to blessing level 30 because there are no like, enemy, enemy adventurers. It's just all monsters and bosses, monsters and bosses, uh, which is all well and good, but most of your kind of blessing grinding will be attacking enemy adventurers so meh it's very slow
Well, it's, the, it's still only 98, that's so bad. I'm going to drop in... Another bounty over here. Ugh. I mean, there's that depth um, that I was complaining about before, that we had no depth, but now we sort of do have the depth. So it is. It's happening slowly, yeah. Cause look, look how slowly the HP bars going down. Um, but it might be good XP. I don't know. I mean, it is slow going. Yeah, there he goes. Uh, see all that XP. And uh, the way to get some decent XP. Is to be grinding this stuff. Not controversy land. Not like Twitter personified. Should we go to the apocalypse? Everybody is invited to the apocalypse. Everybody's going to the apocalypse. Okay, so we'll load that one in. Who shall we send? I'm tempted to just send our B team on this one. It does mean they won't be killing uh, the mechanical whales. Which is kind of what we want them to do. How many floors? Okay, only 30 floors. That's not too bad. Eric, RMS, Delta, Ewan, Altoli, do it, do it, see what it looks like, I don't know if I've ever been to the apocalypse before, I guess we could look on this, yeah we've not been here before, look, We've got like a, we've got to fight golden scorpions, the scorpion king, poisonous snakes. Look at them all. Ooh, this looks a bit easy in inverted commas. Uh, but this is how you grind out the XP towards in like the mid to late game. Is to keep sending them on these. And the reason why I wasn't doing this before. Uh, I was doing it like occasionally before. But the reason why I wasn't doing it too much before. Is because it was so unstable. It would just make my game crash. Uh, and I think that was happening with... 
lot of people. Um, but the devs have fixed a lot of stability issues, which is awesome. So you can actually play the game the way it's supposed to be played. But yeah, only 160 kills per floor. And they do look like massed enemies, like loads of snakes. And then you can also just leave that going in the background, which is pretty good. And then they'll just work their way through that. And then more and more people are getting to the end of the polar realm. I think we've gotten the first 15 guys, almost the first 15 guys, certainly the first 10 guys. Shall we buy some more junk? Sell off a bunch of junk. This is pretty good. We're getting like uh, almost 200k per merchant visit there in sales. Uh, but we are going to just spend a, a bunch. Probably even more than 200k. <laughs> armor. We desperately need armor. We'll get that weapon because it's tier 4. That's all we want there. And then yeah, a bunch of superior chests we like. Good is pretty good. <laughs> we don't need mystery diaries anymore because those are like um, for your labs, for your tech points. Uh, but we've finished all of that, our tech trees. So let's head back to the island. So, like, loads of people are on these blasted whales. They are pretty strong. Uh, but we should be able to grind out a bunch of XP here, although it's going to be slow again because they're probably a little bit too high level. Uh, but I believe we're in... We're on the right island for grinding levels. Um, I was grinding back on Foggy Forest, um, but it was slower than leveling on this island. So we're at the kind of... L well, are we at the lower end? I don't know. I don't know, maybe. At least we can get to the end. <laughs> at least we can get to the end of the island. You know, we can physically walk to the end of the island. Where we can the last time we came here. But yeah, it's uh, slow going, but I mean, uh, it is, the game was originally called Round the Clock. Shall we drop a, because all of this stuff's um, permanent fixtures, like um, uh, this is like a, A restore totem, it's called. And that's permanent Chinese. I think it's called like Chinese loot cave, something like that. 
Uh, and I think this tower is permanent as well, is it? Yeah, permanent. Uh, and the way you can also drop down one of these sword array things here. Sing Ching Suu swords. And they actually reduce enemy defenses by half. Uh, so that's really good because we're, you know, <laughs> we're not massively strong. But we're better off than we were the first time we were here. Uh, I'm actually, I do want to put down a... Uh, the one I'm using, I did point this out. I did mention this one a bit earlier. It's the bronze sacred tree. Let's pop it there. Sure. Uh, this one is on a timer though. These are like the... So nothing started dropping in there. These are really good because they have a really small f uh, kind of footprint. So you can slot them like into some really kind of cool places in between two buildings. <laughs> it is a shame we can't we can't craft them though. What we can craft though are the newly translated uh, they're called mechanical cores, mechanical core totems, that's what they've been translated as. Just drop one there. I mean, they are super cool, and you can craft them. Oh no, it's already being like attacked. See, yeah, that's uh, kind of what I am experiencing when I do try and craft up some loot farms that they are just getting wiped just quickly, very quickly. So the kind of permanent structures I found a bit easier on this level. But the kind of temporary loot farm type structures I'm struggling with. Even that's pretty low because that's been attacked over and over again. So 
So I might just keep my tree. My sacred bronze tree. <laughs> Look, we're still only, we're still under 150. Oh boy, it's taking forever. And then how are our Mystic Realm guys doing? Okay, we're at floor 18. Yeah, it looks like that sword formation might, might break any minute. <laughs> um, the reason why that's even there is to do with the this quest here. That's the quest credit there for that sword formation thing there. Usually that wouldn't even exist. It's usually just these three structures, just the superior arrow tower the Chinese treasure cave and the uh, restore totem. So let's go through and try and like enhance everyone, all of our heroes. And we'll see how much our money goes down by. And the guard ring has gone down again. Uh, so let's set that up real quick and then we will sign off. Because that is all we're doing now. We're just grinding needing to be reincarnated so yeah that's gonna do it for this episode i'm gonna try and um do this um quest off camera or at least get very close it has taken an absolute dog's age it's taken us like two episodes and that's only like clicked on like maybe 75 kills um, but yeah thanks for watching please do leave a like comment and subscribe if you want to see more the leviathan's fantasy and we are pretty much on the end game now i don't know if we're if there is an end i don't think there is uh, i mean there is one world after this there is one island after this it's called like terror island or something see if we can find it is it anywhere around yeah look terror island level three five one to four five one <laughs> I think that's going to be too much for us. Uh, but there are a, a, um, a final two right heroes to snag there. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please do leave a like, comment and subscribe. Uh, and we'll play some more of this. All right. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Isn't that immoral?